Hello and welcome or welcome back to Code Harvest. In this video, as you have seen from the beginning of this video, we are going to be creating an e-commerce website for furniture. So this is sort of like uh, season two of our web series, episode one. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, the page is completely empty and uh, we have nothing in our CSS file over here. Um, we only have two images. One is going to be our index background and one is going to be used as our logo. So now we're going to be, oh, I forgot to put relation, it's going to be style sheet. And now we're going to be creating a navigation bar. So what we want to do is we want to have the logo to the left and we want to have um, the links to the right. So home services, about and contact on the right hand of the website. And now we're going to be working on uh, the CSS side of our website. So first we want to remove every margin and padding that there is by default. And we also want to style our navigation page. So we're going to be um, in changing and adding properties to our class, which is called navbar. All right, so now, um, now that we have that done, we have used unordered list in order to um, list these links. So what we're going to be doing is removing these bullet points and we're also going to be putting these links to the same line. All right, so now that we have that done, now we're going to be completely designing our navigation bar to how we want it to look like. So after that, um, we're going to be including our font family since this looks very boring. Alright, so now that we have that done, we are going to be um, changing the font family. So at the moment, I believe it's Times Roman. So we want to change this to a font family that's called Ubuntu. Of course, you could use any font family that you would like. That's just the font family that I'm going to be using. All right, so now that we have included our font family, the next thing we're just going to, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to type in font family and we're going to include the font family that we have chosen. And uh, just in case, you know, browser does not support this font, uh, we want it to just be sans serif. All right, so that looks much better, but now um, our logo is not going to be text, but um, we have an image that we have right over here. So we want to include this into our HTML page. So let's get back to our index page. And over here, we're going to be including an image element in which our source will be in images in the images folder called logo2. And now I'm going to be changing the width of this image to be slightly smaller and our height to be 60 pixels. Okay, that looks much better. All right, so now you can see that our image is placed well at the center. However, our links are not. So all we have to do is include place items and we want to place them in the center. And now that's fixed. And now we're going to be changing the properties of our link. Uh, we want it to be a little bolder and we want to fix up the font size of our links. All right, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be including a link for contact. So as you've seen from the beginning of the video, um, we do not have the text format that we had as SVG. So we're going to head over to Bootstrap since um, they always give great icons. All right, now that it is right there, all we need to do is change our, I mean, change the, the width and the height. All right, so now that we have our unwanted tabs removed, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, including our main uh, content. So we're going to be creating a new ID and we're gonna call this main. And underneath, we're going to include our gradient. Oop. And that will be in a form of class. 
and over here we're just going to be including the title that we're going to be using so we're going to be saying welcome to come come by all right so it looks like it's underneath um I mean, it looks like it's merged with the navigation inside the navigation bar. So now we're going to be working on our main ID and we're going to be working on our class gradient. So now all we have to do is include our text and we're going to be including all our content, including um, including uh, the lorem, the buttons, and the image inside of the gradient class. And now um, it obviously looks does not look nice over here, so um, we also forgot to add uh, background, the background property. So what we want it to be is white and now it stands out. All right, so now we are going to be including the image background. So we're gonna go back to our index file and create a new IMG element. Okay, so as you can see, the image is very, very large. So this is how the uh, image looks like. It's a very large image. So now we're going to go back to our CSS file and change and modify its properties so that it actually fits and um, it covers the whole page. All right, so right now our image fits. We used object position to make sure that we get the center of the image and we made sure that uh, the image, the whole image, or at least most of the image was covered by using object fit. All right, so now we are going to be working on the gradient. Um, obviously, uh, the point is very tiny, so we'll increase it to around 0.5. Now it looks a little better. And now we're going to be um, changing the text color to white. We're also going to be using warm text. All right, so now that we have our text appropri appropriately uh, positioned, we're just going to remove that tab. And now we're going to be including the buttons that we're going to be using. All right, so now that we are done with the buttons, now we're going to be changing the navigation bar links. We want it to have an overhang effect, so we want it to change color to something more goldish yellow as uh, the theme colors of uh, this website is this type of green, a lovely green, a rich green, and a goldish uh, yellow or brownish yellow. Now we're just going to include the transition property, so we want it to uh, change color slowly both when the mouse when uh, the mouse hover around it and when the mouse leaves uh, the link so here now it looks much more modern much more elegant and now we have to fix this right here so I believe that all we need to do is change this to relative now that changes the position of our image but another thing that we should do is we should include the navigation element and over here we're just going to say overflow so any element that overflows should be hidden so now it is hidden and another thing is position should be absolute and now when we check out our navigation bar okay now it looks minimized so i'll put i'll set it to a width of 100 percent and now it looks much, much better. Now we, for, we forgot to add another link here. Uh, we're just going to add contact. And now that looks much, much better. Um, I think we should also improve our spacing. Perhaps we can increase the margin left to 90 pixels. And now that looks much, much better. Now, the only thing that we need to add or change is the background image gradient. It is set to black, but we want it to be greenish yellow, which is our color theme. So over here, we're going to change this, which is basically the color black. And we're just going to change it to a color that um, I personally found, uh, which suited the best. And that looks much better. Um, 
comment down below if you think this is too green I personally think it is so I will change this to 0.3 and so you can see a little bit of green but it's not too much uh, so now that looks much much better all right now before you go there might be a problem that you might come across uh, which is your box shadow might not show in your navigation bar I struggled it, uh, with it for a while so I just realized that it is because uh, we added the property of overflow hidden so for example if I thicken this um, and I decide to remove margin bun which is our solution if we remove that um, you can see that our box shadow is not shown but if we remove overflow hidden for example it comes back but we do need overflow hidden so our solution is to just include margin button uh, and I put off 50 pixels you can put um, you know the amount that suits you I put 50 pixels and uh, so I'll change that back to a decent amount so yeah that was uh, the solution um, if you come across the box shadow problem and if it does not it is not shown or displayed all right now one more thing that we're going to add is we want to make the logo or basically the name of the e-commerce website to be goldish brown so to be a little bit different because it looks a little bit plain so we'll just include a span element right here all right now that is the end of part one of the comfy web series i really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot of new things uh, please do give this video a like a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and please do hit the notification bell so that you can be notified for uh, future videos to come and uh, we will see you in part two of the comfy web series goodbye